Uh, Y'all have voted to uh, hold a special election on May 2nd? Uh, yes, we've requested to go to begin the process of establishing a special election on May 2nd to um, ask the voters of, of the Lake Bourne Basin Levy District to approve a 7.5 mil new tax to help uh, pay for the uh, flood protection that uh, Lake Bourne Levy District has now inherited from the federal government. Now, you mentioned during the meeting that uh, uh, there there are real concerns about about the finances for the Lake Bourne Levy District. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, yes. Uh, the Lake Bourne Levy District has not been able to collect on its original uh, Avalorum tax. It hasn't been able to collect enough funds to operate uh, without having all the new levies placed on it. It's been it's been shortfall of about five hundred thousand dollars a year. And so they uh, been eating into the reserves that are needed to repair things. If, if a pump breaks down or something, you have emergency repairs. Uh, they've eaten into those reserves, uh, and now you add on to it this additional requirement. And these new federal levies, they have certain things that we have to do in order to maintain the FEMA and the uh, and the certification from the federal government. If we don't do certain things, we'll lose those certifications. Uh, and it's, it's, it's reached an emergency situation. Either, yeah. either we're going to have good flood protection for Lake Mont Levy District or we're not going to have flood protection for Lake that's, that's the two choices I'm afraid that we're facing. So the, the loss of certification means what for, uh, for um, insurance? If, if we should lose certification, and that's, there's, there's a whole lot of things that have to happen, but if, if you should lose that certification, then the BFEs would jump way up. Uh, and the base, flood the base flood elevations, yeah, right. the base flood elevations would jump way up, and then the flood insurance premiums, uh, though that they are increasing now, will absolutely skyrocket, or, or you simply will not be able to build anything, or you will not be able to vend property to a new buyer. I mean, it's it's a very very serious situation. Uh, we have to be able to maintain uh, the certification of the levy systems, and we have to be able to maintain them to keep that certification, and we can't do it on uh, the millage that we have right now. We just don't have enough money coming in to do everything that's required to do it. Now, this millage was voted down by voters uh, uh, yes, it was. last month, uh, well, two months ago, um, uh, at a time when it was uh, there, uh, one of 12 different taxes that were on the, on yes, the ballot. Yes, and that help? Uh, well, having those additional things on uh, distracted from concentrating on the real need for this one and and I think if we uh, do a better job of explaining the need uh, to the voters uh, they, they, they will do the wise thing uh, and I believe this is going to be the only Avalorum tax on the on the ballot so that uh, the voters will be able to concentrate on the arguments for uh, implementing this tax. And I'm confident that they'll reach the right decision about what needs to be done to continue uh, protecting St. Bernard Parish in the Lake Bourne Levy District from storm surge. Okay.